In March of 2009, Apple revised its beloved iPod Shuffle. While it retained its built-in clip and wearable nature, Apple stripped the music player of all of its buttons, instead relying on voiceover technology for users to interact with the Shuffle. Artists, albums, and playlists could all be controlled by the sound of your voice, but volume controls and the play-pause button were now located on the earbud wire, locking out many third-party headphones. While it seemed futuristic in practice, this was clumsy and awkward. In fact, Apple had to publish a nearly five minute video on its website explaining how the whole thing worked. So that's a brief introduction to the new iPod Shuffle, the world's smallest music player and the first one that talks to you. To learn more, try one out at your nearest Apple store or visit apple.com slash iPod Shuffle. Despite the cool response, in September of that year, Apple revised the third generation iPod Shuffle with new colors and a new entry level $59 model with two gigabytes of storage. Then Phil Schiller announced something special. We also want to make one more that we really think is beautiful. We call it the special edition. This is made out of polished stainless steel. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's $99 for a four gigabyte model. It'll be available on the on the store for the online store and the retail stores. Again, the special edition in stainless steel. Besides a very fingerprinty iPod shuffle, that 20 bucks didn't get you much else. It's yet another example of Apple using different materials at different price points, all on the same underlying product. A year later, this generation of iPod shuffle was gone, replaced by a new player that returned the buttons to the device leaving this shiny music player a mere footnote in iPod history.